Hey everybody, this is Andy EP. Uh, I've got a drum instructional book uh, coming out in print for the first time called Groove Manipulation. And I want to make a quick video just kind of walking you through it and talking a little bit about it. Um, so this is what you'll get if you buy the print book. Um, it's got a hard uh, paper cover and back. Um, it has a black spiral binding that you can use uh, on your music stand to lay flat. So it's not gonna, you know, you don't have to really crank the binding to get it to, to stay which is something that was really important to me for this book. So to get inside the book, um, I kind of talk about the idea in kind of the basic format at the beginning. And the basic idea is that you're kind of reorganizing rhythms in a groove around the drum kit to different sounds. And this kind of uses the hi-hat, snare, and kick drum rhythms as kind of a basis for that idea uh, to start with. That way you can get the concept down and then kind of eventually you'll move it around to other sounds and, and you can be really creative with it. Um, but I talk about what those ideas are here and kind of the background of this idea, kind of where I come up, where I came up with it. Uh, I've got ideas to keep in mind, how to use the charts. And then the first section here is the primary charts. Um, so you'll see this, um, there's five different combinations if you use all these sounds. For example, on the chart uh, A would be if you leave the hi-hat rhythms on the hi-hat, but then you switch the snare and kick rhythms around. So now the snare drum is playing the, the kick drum rhythm and the kick drum is playing the snare rhythm. And so all these are different. And then down here, these last two are, you play them on completely different sounds. So chart E, for example, will be the hi-hat is now playing the snare rhythm. The snare rhythm is now playing the kick drum rhythm and the kick drum is playing the hi-hat. So those are kind of the main five primary um, groove manipulations you can use. I've got, I talk about how to use these in a musical context and how to uh, develop them. I got where to use them. And then I've got a variety of musical examples in different styles. So the first one is a rock groove kind of a simple like kind of uh, you know garage rock kind of style groove and I'll also have for every example I have exercises that help you um, to play this rhythm authentically and in a musical way so these will help you get the coordination down and get the dynamics down and things like that there's a couple of notes usually with each groove that I kind of just want people to pay, pay attention to when you're working through it and then also a, a, a musical example as a chart so this is like a song that I kind of wrote that uses this in a musical way and every example has manipulations in different areas. So this one's got it, you can see in the, in the, in the introduction of the song, the pre-chorus of the song, and then uh, an outro, it's got it on there as well. But every song is, every example has a different, different place you, that uses it. And then finally, it's got the other variations um, for the primary charts for this one um, on the back here. So you can work through all the different combinations. And I've also got an R&B groove in here. Um, I have, a uh, heavy funk groove, which uses it in a really cool way on beats three and four. That's an awesome one. I've got a bossa nova groove, a samba groove. Uh, talk about transitioning with fills. And then I've also got secondary um, manipulations, which are where you combine uh, multiple sounds together. So this is where you combine two sounds. So the snare and kick rhythms are combined, the hi-hat and kick rhythms are combined, and the hi-hat and snare rhythms are combined. So there's six different combinations for each of those. I've got a 6-8 rock example with all the different secondary variations. And then finally, there's a, a tertiary one, uh, which is where all the sounds are on one sound, or all the rhythms are on one sound. So hi-hat plays all, all the rhythms on, the snare plays all the rhythms, and the kick drum plays all the rhythms. And you do this by uh, using a lot of accents. So this is kind of where I talk about this idea and where to use that in a musical way. And then this is kind of the more advanced section as well, halfway through the book. I start talking about using it in jazz which is a really creative way to use it, one of my favorite places. I've got different ostinato exercises for the ride rhythm. And then I've got three jazz examples that are each one page long. And then I've got um, other groove ideas like Latin jazz, some New Orleans stuff. And then I've got three examples where it uses multiple manipulations. So I've got a funk one. Uh, I've got a, uh, let's see, a linear hip hop one. And then these examples have all the different combinations, primary, secondary, and tertiary. A linear hip hop in here. And these ones are kind of more challenging that you kind of work through. That's why they're at the end, right? Uh, and then the one that's kind of the biggest challenge, even to play the groove regularly, would be an Afrobeat groove, uh, which was created by Tony Allen. Um, so this has got multiple different combinations. I've got multiple primaries, multiple secondaries, uh, tons of exercises. I think this is like 11 pages long for the Afrobeat example. And then uh, finally, to wrap it up at the end here, I've got how to solo with it playing with a percussionist, playing it with the, the, on the hi-hat of the left foot hi-hat, uh, if you're right-handed or you know the right foot hi-hat, if you're left-handed, 
using it with other sounds. This is kind of where it gets really creative. Uh, some other fun grooves. How to do this for your own grooves. And then a little example of kind of like how I would use this idea to develop uh, grooves on my own. And also on my website, I will have um, this blank kind of like working, this worksheet kind of idea on my, on my website. So you can bring this with when you're uh, coming up with songs and you can write the grooves out if you, if you, if you work that way. Well, thank you. And that's about it. So thanks for checking it out. Uh, the book will have a, a laminated chart with it. That'll be kind of like a smaller size like this um, that you can see on my other video. If you want to see my unboxing video, I've got the uh, lamination chart on there. But you can bring that with you when you're practicing this idea. Thanks a lot, everybody.